Hi, my name is Suleiman Abdigafar. I'm the lecturer tutor for these GRE lecture videos. I will be taking the quantitative section of the GRE. I took the GRE on the 10th of July 2019, where I had um, 331 out of 340. 167 in the quantitative section and 164 in the verbal section. So these videos would be introducing us to the GRE test, the the um, quantitative section, and the four main topics of the GRE that the GRE test, which are number one arithmetic. Number two, algebra. Number three, geometry. And then lastly, data analysis. So basically, the GRE is a standardized test for postgraduate studies. So it's a standardized test, meaning that it has the same difficulty for all candidates. So they try their best to ensure, even though that you have different questions for different candidates. The difficulty level is the same for all for all candidates. So that's to quench the rumors that the exams are usually quite difficult close to admission period or they are quite easy during the general period. The difficulty is, is the same. So the most important skill that you want to develop is to be able to discern the traps that they have laid down for you as a candidate. Because the GRE says, and I quote, that they aim at measuring quantitative reasoning, verbal reasoning, and critical reasoning skills that have been acquired over a long period of learning. So the GRE is not big on mathematics GR is not expecting you to solve long and complex mathematics they are just testing your quantitative reasoning skills the math content in the GRE is less than the mathematics of the high school um, or the secondary school so you are not expecting some other topics like longitude and latitude trigonometry sine constant and all of that so they are just basic mathematics so that's to tell you and in fact the calculators in the GRE test is the basic calculator not the scientific calculator so that's to tell you that you are not expected to be solving complex mathematics they're just testing your knowledge of logic and numbers so for the quant section which is what I would be taking there are three things required to ease the quant section. The number one is concept. So concept is the actual mathematics, since that is the basis for testing quantitative reasoning. The actual mathematics that involves the laws that you want to know, the laws of indices, the equations, the formulas that you want to know, the area of the, the formula for the area of a rectangle, the formula for the area of a circle, the formula for the perimeter of a, of a, of a rectangle, and all of that. The, the theorems I want to know, the circle theorems I want to know, some of them go in a triangle, some of them go in a, um, in a square, some of them go in a polygon, some of them go in a straight line, all of that, you need the concept for the GRE test. Secondly, is speed, because the GRE test is a time test, where you have 20 questions for 35 minutes for the quant section. So you want to work on your speed. This gives an average of 105 seconds per question. Of course, some questions will be cheaper than 105 seconds, while some questions will be more will be difficult and require more time. But then this, this is the average time. So you want to work with a number that is less than that. Then the third and one of the most important skills that you need is discernment. 
discernment is being able to see the right way to solve a question not just solving it in a general way and not just thinking in the general way of what an average student is going to think being able to being incisive to know the wrong path from the right path